Well, why don't you look at that? I've only been gone a day and you're almost ready. Those parasites are nice and plump. And that boy is about ready to pop. That plague bath is really bringing out your best features. You know, my friends told me not to bother. That no pool of disease would turn you. But I had a feeling. I saw the look in your eyes. The look of someone who had seen so much struggle and wanted it to end. A look I once shared. I was like you once. A mighty warrior for a kingdom I serve with every bit of my soul. Proud to be a bulwark against what I saw was a great evil. Not only was I strong though, but I was gifted. Gifted with a song of healing and power. I, along with my brothers and sisters of the Verdant Choir, strengthened our soldiers with our voices, helping them fight off exhaustion and disease. With our abilities, we held the line against the tides of Nurgle's forces. For years and years we fought, and for years and years nothing changed. No matter what we did, Nurgle was always there to fight us his festering hordes always smiling at our walls as they charged again and again. So many years of fighting can really wear you down, you know. It makes you think, what's the point? Are we doomed to eternal fighting, cursed to live in a never-changing struggle? How could anyone live like that? It was in that moment of doubt that Grandfather Nurgle came to me. He showed me that struggle is simply a part of life. Instead of fighting against it, we should embrace it. Because once you do, the pain of it becomes just a pathetic buzzing compared to the feelings of joy you have at just being alive. I knew I had to show the rest of the people in the city the truth of Nurgle's gospel, and I knew the perfect way to do it. You see, for a few minutes every day, a special performance was held within the city center, within a magically attuned room one of the Verdant Choir would sing, allowing his or her song to give strength and healing to the city's inhabitants. The song could be heard in every corner of the city, hitting the ears of everyone from the greatest city's leaders to the lowliest peasant. That day, I convinced my fellows to let me sing, to show the city the new song I had just discovered within myself. And I sang. I sang of the delight of disease, the comfort of the contagion, the perfection of the plague. Before anyone realized what was happening, I finished the song with a praise to Nurgle himself. My fellow members of the choir tried to stop me, of course. I forgive them for that. They weren't as enlightened as I was. It nearly killed me. But it was too late. The song had entered the minds of every man, woman, and child in the city. Soon Nurgle's gifts ran rampant making those former citizens into proper avatars of disease. My fellows were ripped apart by the bloated bodies of those they protected. The price you pay for ignoring the truth, I guess. With the city changing, the forces of Nurgle walked right in. Grandfather's demons laughing and skipping with glee, while his mortal servants drank bio-laden tankers at local pubs. It was a day to celebrate. A day I was finally with people that understood me. Ah, look at me. I spent all this time talking about myself when this should have been about you. Soon, you'll become part of a family that will truly embrace you like a fungus embraces a dead tree. I can't wait to see it. I'll see you tomorrow. I fully expect you to be ready by then. Good night. A diseased tide, coating the mortal realms in its waves of filth. The maggot king of Nurgle bring the gifts of their god to all who would hear it. Gifts that choked the enemy in sickness and turned their bodies into plague-filled corpses. The maggot kin of Nurgle don't bring these gifts with malice or hatred, but hope. The hope that these contagions are seen as the blessings that they really are, even if the foes they face need a little convincing. Under the kind hand of Grandfather Nurgle, they hope to grow a giant plague garden across the mortal realms, making every one of its inhabitants an incubator of joy. Shards of the Great God, the demons of Nurgle bring the gifts of their god to the mortal realms. Great unclean ones shuffle their massive bodies towards the enemy, 
while heralds bring Nurgle's praises to all who would hear. Beneath them are the plague bearers, beasts, nurglings, and plague drones, soldiering through the worst to bring their tainted swords and claws in rage of the foe. Different from the demons they fight with, but no less loved by Grandfather Nurgle, are his mortal servants, the forces of the Rotbringers. Blessed leaders like the Glotkin and the Magath Lords lead his forces to war, while the Rotbringer Lords give their blessings to the putrid Blight Kings beneath them. These fighters aim to enlighten their fellow mortals on the benefits of serving their kind and generous god. To be a member of the Maggot King of Nurgle is to proudly lead a diseased legacy, to embrace your enemies with a plague-laden truth, and, if they're going to be stubborn about it, strike them down with a malicious malady. Hey guys, this is Arvandis, and I hope you enjoyed this video about the Maggot King of Nurgle. If you like it, please like subscribe and comment and if you really like it consider giving to a patreon with the extra money gives me the time i need to work on these stories i love anyway thanks for listening slash watching and see you next time